Welcome to Studio Fabricana. I'm Miles and I'm here to introduce our two-part series on making a bikini bathing suit. Uh, it's a follow-up to our one-piece uh, suit video that we did that's going to introduce a few things that weren't covered in that first video. Uh, one is people have been asking about how to line the front and the back of the suit. People have also asked about inserting bra cups into the top and also it's going to show us how to make these really nice little skinny straps. So let's get started. Welcome to part two of our video where we're going to be making the bikini top. There's a lot of different operations that aren't covered in the bottom, including making the straps, the casing for the straps, and the op option of inserting the bra cups. If you're lucky, you live close to a fabric store that has an amazing array of swimwear fabrics like these ones, including some great dots, stripes, novelties, maybe even this fun splashy print that we're going to use today for our video. Some people might wonder if it's worth trying to make your own swimsuit. And with the cost of swimwear these days, when you look at the price of the fabrics, it really will be. Um, and there's an amazing selection, including lots of fun, flashy things that you might not swim in, but they'd be great for posing. In order to keep our lining inside the suit, it's a good idea to cut the lining piece, piece slightly smaller so that it kind of pulls to the inside of the suit. And the best way to cut your lining piece a little bit smaller is to take your regular fabric piece and overlay it on your lining piece and you're going to kind of offset the bottom edge by about a quarter inch. We're going to pin them together just in a couple of spots to keep it from this slippery fabric from sliding around. And then we're just going to use as a guide our main fabric piece and just trim off that quarter inch of the lining. So now when we look at our pieces, if we line up our straight edges, When we sew them, the lining will hug in to the inside of the suit. The next thing we want to work on is sewing our straps. So we've got our two shoulder straps here. Um, we've just basically folded them in half and we've done a quarter inch seam allowance with a zigzag stitch. And again, sewing with the zigzag will allow the straps to stretch without the seams breaking. So now we need to turn our straps inside out so that we see our nice fun print. And the first way we're going to do that is we're going to show this loop turner tool. It's a really handy little tool. We take the hook end of the tool that looks like a latch hook and we're going to put that inside the tube and we're going to feed it all the way to the end. And then we're carefully going to hook the fabric with a little spike in it like that and then that is going to grab the fabric and if we tug on that it'll start to bring the fabric inside out and if we just continue to pull on the loop side it gives us something to grab onto we'll just gently turn the whole thing inside out once you've got the end of your tube you can remove the loop turner and just grab onto the the inside and now we have a perfect little loop another way of turning the strap is to use this little tube and this little thing they come in sets they're different sizes but for this um, narrow strap we're using the smallest piece. Now typically you would want to stitch the end of the strap before you do this but we actually find this little metal, metal rod catches the fabric anyway. So what we want to do is insert the plastic tube into the strap just a little bit in from the end. Then we can use our metal rod and just push it to the inside of the tube and that gives us a little bit of leverage to start turning the strap inside out. And if you just continue to pull the strap down over the metal rod, we 
we're basically doing the same thing we did with the other loop turner until we get the ins the other end. We can remove the metal rod and just continue to pull on the inside piece until the whole strap is inside out. And again, we have another shoulder strap. So now that we have all of our straps turned, the next thing we want to do is sew the actual bodice pieces. So we're going to be sewing one piece of lining with one fabric piece and one strap. It's going to go right down the middle, meeting at the top corner. And we're going to pin that corner in place first through all the layers, the lining, the strap, and the fabric. And then, because this piece is cut a little bit smaller, we have to kind of stretch the lining a little bit to match the corners here. And we're going to place a pin. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, we're just going to stretch the lining a little bit in place so that the corners line up. And we're going to put a pin in place. And then we're going to go over to the sewing machine. So once we've sewn this top edge, we're going to turn it and you can actually just use your strap to kind of help turn, turn it through. Maybe just give it a bit of a tug to create more of that triangle shape. Now you'll notice that this doesn't want to lay flat and what we're going to do is we're going to top stitch with a zigzag stitch along that edge. The zigzag again will help it stretch after it's made. So you may decide that you want to put a bra form into your suit. Um, we have this one from an old suit and then we have this one that we carry at Fabricana. And now is the time to do it while the bottom edge is still open. You can slide the bra form in. You'll find that there's little notches in the forms and these are indicating the outside of the body so kind of more towards the underarm. So make sure that you indicate um, maybe with a pin or something um, which is the left and right side of your suit so that once it's done um, and you put the casing in it will be correct. If you purchase a molded bra cup and you find it's maybe a little bit big for your suit as long as it's a laminated um, foam cup you can always cut it down to size to make it fit the bathing suit because this one is a little bit small so these can always be cut and adjusted. Um, as another option for putting a bra form into the suit, you may decide that you want to do an extra layer of lining that's open at the top so that you can slide in a soft form inside your suit and then make it lay flat just to give you that bit of extra padding. And then if you'd like, you can always remove the form when washing the suit. So whether you're putting a bra form in or not, and we are putting one in, um, the next step is we're going to close this edge. We're going to zigzag really close to the edge just to close that seam. So 
So now that we've enclosed this bottom edge with our zigzag stitch, we're going to turn up the hem by 5 eighths of an inch. I'm going to put a couple of pins in place. Now as you're doing this, you want to make sure if you have put the bra form in that you're not going to be stitching through it. So just as you're hemming, make sure that you can't feel the bra form going into your hem. As you're sewing this hem, um, keep in mind it's going to be a little bit tricky because basically this curved edge is actually larger than the area it's going to be stitched into. So we actually have to kind of stretch the top a little bit in order to get the seam to lay flat. It's almost like sewing the hem on an A-line skirt if you've ever done that. So just um, be really careful and just kind of adjust as you go, kind of stretching the suit a little bit in order to make the hem lay flat. So the final step, um, now that we have the casing sewn for our waist tie to go through, is to actually feed it through. We're actually going to go back and use our loop turner. Now keep in mind, we have a left and a right because we have put the little the bra forms in our suit. So make sure that when you feed it through that you keep the left and right on the left and right sides. So I'm going to start with the, actually the right side, feeding through my loop turner. And I'm going to use that hook to grab the end of my strap. And again, just gently pull through the casing. Until it comes through the other side. Again, keep your left and right sides in the right spot so nothing gets mixed up. Then we're going to put the loop turner through the other one, the left side. And again, I'm using that loop and hook to grab the end of the strap to gently guide it through the casing. You can see it's starting to look more like your classic bikini. We'll just continue to adjust the waist tie until everything's centered. We can remove our pins that indicated left and right. And before you know it, you have a new bikini top. Thanks for joining us for our series on making the bikini bathing suit. Here it is ready to go. Let's head to the beach.